We're going to take a look at a legal problem called department highest salary. So you can see here on the left we have two tables, right? We have employee table and also we have a de department table. Um, and you can see here for employee we have a department ID, which is a foreign key for an ID from the department table. And you can see this is the department table right here, right? This is the ID. Um, so the problem is that we want to write a SQL query to find the employees who have the highest salary in each department's and return the result in any order. So you can see here we have an example, right? Where we have an employee table, we have a de department table. Um, and then the output is we want to, in this case, return employees who have the highest salary. So in this case, for each department, right? So you can see here, uh, we have Max and Jim both have the highest salary, right? In IT department, uh, since you can see that out of all the salary that we have, right? Uh, 90k or 90,000 is the highest for department one and uh, 80,000 is the highest for department two and you can see that we have two 90,000 here right Jim and Max so you can see here that's why we have two uh, two employees from IT department who has a salary that's the highest in that, in that department right so in this case um, how do we solve this problem so to solve this problem um, you can see here we're gonna we're gonna break the problem down into like smaller sub problem or sub queries, and we want to talk about what each of those query does and how do we solve this. So first of all, like let's figure out you know how do we like combine those two tables together, right? Because you can see in the output, uh, we want to find the highest salary in each department, right? And uh, the return data is we want we want the department, employee, and salary. But you can see that in the employee table we have, uh, you know, the employee name, right? salary and also the uh, the department ID so what we need to do is first is we need to join those two tables together so we have employee table and we have department table uh, we want to join them together so that's gonna be our first step right so you can see we're joining tables together so our query will look something like this so we need a department ID right or sorry the department name so we're gonna say department dot name and we're gonna name it to department right and we also have employee name which is going to be employee name dot name sorry employee dot name as employee and we also have salary right and we basically join those two tables together we're just going to use inner join um, and then you can see here we're going to have employee join with department and the condition is that we're basically joined by the employee dot department id must equal to department id department dot id right so like each row um, Department department ID must match with the ID in a department table, right? So once we join that, right, this is what the data looks like. Okay, you can see here we have our three uh, columns, right? And then you can see we have IT, we have Joe, right? That's the employee name, and then we have the salary. So that's the first part of our problem, right? We we want to be able to, you know, this display the data in this kind of format. But how do we be able to, in this case, get the the uh, get the employees that have the highest salary in each department. Um, so to do that, right, first we need to figure out, okay, how can we be able to, you know, uh, find the highest salary, right? Like how, do, how can we be able to find the highest salary in each department? So what we can do is that to find the highest salary in each department, we can basically group, right, by the department ID in a department table, right? Uh, sorry, a group by the department ID in the employee table because we need a salary, right? So once we group by the department ID in the employee table, and then we're basically just going to use the max aggregation function to find the, the the maximum salary for each department. So this is what it looks like, right? So you can see here we have a table, and uh, for department one we have ninety thousand, and for department two we have the eighty thousand for the maximum salary, right? So now we know, okay, what's the highest salary for each department? Okay, so now what we can do is that we can use um, the steps that we took, right? Now we join the tables, uh, we have our desired data, and now we also have our, you know, uh, the data uh, for, you know, finding the highest salary in each department. So now what we can do is we can basically try to find uh, people that have those highest salary, right? So what we can do is that we can basically say, okay, to find employees, right? where his or her salary, right? Each employee's his or her salary and the department must match with the highest salary plus the same department. 
So basically what it means is here is that he, since we have this, since we have you know this data right here, highest salary in each department, basically what we're gonna do is that for each and every single employee, we're gonna see if the salary that, that this employee has and the department ID that, that this employee has includes or contains in this uh, in this subquery, right? And you can see that this is what we did here. So we're selecting, you know, this is what we had before, right? The, the join part. And then we basically check to see where employee.department ID and the employee.salary, right, is in this subquery. If it is, then we basically found this employee, right? And that means that this employee is the highest, uh, has the highest salary in this department, right? So then we include it for the data that we want to output. So you can see that for our results, right? So this is what we what we have, right? Like I just want to um, recap. So basically you can see here, we're selecting the department, right? The depart department name, the employee name, as well as the employee salary, right? And from the join table, from both tables, right? From the employee and the department table joined by the department ID uh, from the employee and also the, the ID from the department uh, table and then now we're basically just going to see if each each employee right that department ID and each employees that salary is in the highest salary in each department right so this is basically how we solve the problem and uh, thank you for watching